Hey guys, welcome to another DIY video. My name is Priska. If this is your first time looking at these videos, normally we do DIY videos or behind the scenes videos for Perfect Bloom event planning and decorating service. Today's DIY is a modern hooped shelf. We are going to be using items that you probably would never think of using to create a shelf and try to create something that looks very chic and expensive. To make this easier for most people, I'm going to be using tools that you can find in almost every home or you can find from somebody that you know, like this small screwdriver. Usually, or if I'm doing it just me, I would use maybe a drill or some other heavy equipment. But because I want to make it easy for you to recreate, I'm going to be using things like a glue gun where I would have used a drill and this. The other items that you will need to create this are screws, an additional screwdriver, a much bigger one, your marker or pencil, whichever that you're more comfortable with, it really does not matter. A box knife, the gloves are there because sometimes when I spray paint, I end up getting paint on my hands and to avoid that, the gloves. The board, of course, and your spray paint. And one of the main things that we need is the hula hoops, two of them. These are large ones. You can get smaller ones, but because I want my shelf to be large enough, I'm using the larger ones. And if you are wondering why I have twine and vines it's because i have found that these are very versatile so i've used them for centerpieces i've used them to make chandeliers for events so now i have to use the scissors and cut all of this off and um i'm going to spray it gold because we want it to be white and gold to fit into the decor that we for the room that we're going to place this in and that's how we start by spraying to protect the surface, I opened up a large piece of scrap cardboard and then we started doing the first side of the hoops, making sure to get the insides and the outsides. When that is dried, we flip it over and repeat on the other side of the hoops. Once the first coat is dried, apply a second coat and let that dry as well. We will be using a third coat for this project, but that is after we've assembled everything just because we may end up scratching or because there will be a lot of handling we want to make sure that the final steps are as always very refined so that's when the third coat will come in one thing i forgot to show is that a spray paint primer can be used to ensure that the paint that you use on there that it settles nicely and it's something that will stay a bit longer on your project I measured the boards ahead. I'm using two. The one that I showed earlier in the picture is three, but for this one, I'm doing two tears instead of three. You can choose to do three or four or two. You can even do one if you like, it's up to you. And also depends on where you're going to place it and what items that you're going to place in it. If you're going to put in smaller items, then that's fine. You can even do four. And then the next step is to measure the hoops and the boards against each other to find where you're going to screw those two items together. The easiest way to measure the hoops against each other is by placing them together. You do not want to use the board each time for each hoop because you run the chance of getting the measurements a bit skewed. What I did is I used tape to keep it together once I had where the first mark was on the hoops and you tape it together but do not use the sticky side of the tape on the sprayed hoops because this is although it's dried it's still freshly spray painted and you don't want to when you're removing the tape to pull off any of the, the spray gold color from it for this i could have used the drill but to pierce it a screwdriver will be just fine you just have to apply a bit more pressure than usual, but it's not strenuous, so that's okay. And don't worry about marking the board. When we spray white, when we're doing the refining at the end after assembling, that will be covered up. To 
pierce to hoops we're going to use a very hot glue gun so we plug it in make sure it's super hot and then we're going to pierce in the first side if we continue piercing it we run the risk of creating a hole that is much larger than the screw we're going to use and we don't want that so what you do is once you've pierced one side using the glue gun we use the small screw to go all the way through it And then we, when we've, when we've pierced all the different areas that we need to, that's for me, because I'm doing two shelves, that's four on each side, we screw them in. But be careful not to screw it in too tight as you can flatten the hula hoop. Now that we've done assembling it, we're going to do that final refining spraying, the third coat. For the wood it's like the first or the second depending on what kind of material that you're using mine is already white what i want to do is make sure that there are no markings that it's pure white and two to get rid of the drawings that i did for measurements and then for the gold anywhere that could have been scratched when i was screwing any gold that came out we want to put that back in and make sure that all the little corners get the gold that turned into this a hoop shelf i found that it can also be used for events if you're doing like a dessert wall or a dessert table and that's it that was our diy version of the hoop modern I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you do try this DIY, I will be happy to see what it looks like. So you can always drop a picture in the comments section and let me know. Let me see what yours looks like. Thanks for watching. See you next time.